What's going on guys? Got a little uh, video here for you. Uh, it's kind of a response to Robbie Smoke Eater 908 and Carter's Juju 1313. Um, I traced the video back to um, another reviewer on the Edge 72 uh, who I'm now subscribed to. Um, he's got a good channel and uh, both Robbie and Carter they had uh, done their video on their titanium frame lock knives and uh, when I traced it back I think the original video um, in which you tagged everyone on the Edge 72 was talking about uh, what is all the titanium uh, that you own. Um, so I got most of my titanium here. Uh, majority of course uh, are titanium knives or frame locks. Um, so I'm just going to be showing that to you guys today. So titanium is just one of those um, I guess I mean kind of exotic exotic metals. Um, you know, obviously on knives it makes for a great um, locking mechanism, but it's also extremely light and strong. Um, so kind of the strength to um, weight ratio is one of the strongest that's out there. Um, supposedly steel um, is even stronger, but it is extremely heavy. Um, so anyway, uh, titanium is an awesome, awesome material. And um, I'm going to start off first with my wedding ring. This is a blend of titanium and uh, 18 karat white gold. So um, I got this seven years ago uh, when I married my uh, beautiful wife. And um, yeah, so this is near and dear to my heart. This is by far the most important piece of titanium uh, that I own. So uh, there you have it, my wedding ring. <laughs> I'll just put that on. Um, I'm going to start just small and then get into the knives at the very end. It's pretty much my entire collection, but um, so most of the things you've seen already or, or things that you're going to see um, pretty soon on my channel. Uh, this is the Atwood Landslide uh, lanyard bead. Uh, it's got the Strider Spanner tool on here, so it's a nice convenient thing, especially when I am carrying my Strider. Uh, for my EDC. So anodized purple with this little ring on this kind of tiger camo uh, pattern lanyard. So that's the titanium my keychain. I've also got these uh, split rings that are gone now. Oh here they are. So I got these titanium split rings from County Com. Um, I haven't used them. Uh, I think I maybe used one of them but um, Main reason is because it's extremely tight, so uh, it's kind of hard to get all my keys on here. So I kind of have to stretch it out a little bit. Um, but they are extremely light. Um, obviously, a steel one's going to be light as well. But I couldn't resist the the idea of getting some titanium uh, split rings. I was thinking of maybe anodizing uh, one or two of them. So kind of a cool little thing uh, for the titanium collection. Um, next one are my titanium pocket clips that I have uh, included on some of my knives. Uh, these are pretty cheap from uh, USA Knife Maker, but they're made out of 6AL14, uh, or 6, yeah, 6AL14V, or whatever. Um, titanium, yeah, so uh, they're pretty cool, very strong. Uh, the cool thing about titanium is just how elastic it is. You know, it, you can bend it and it always, not always, but it retains its shape uh, very well. So uh, these are great uh, titanium pocket clips. I'll just put that right there. All right, and then uh, I got my titanium charge TTI Leatherman. So it's basically these slabs right here that are titanium. Everything else in here is steel, so it is a very... Um, heavy multi-tool, uh, something that I don't carry um, too frequently. And then on the side of this uh, little pouch, I've got a titanium uh, pry bar that I also got from County Com that I wrapped with uh, some leather. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice to have uh, on the side with my Leatherman. Got this stored in my car in case of any kind of emergency that hopefully my Leatherman can take care of. Alright, so I want to make this quick. I'm just going to try to fly through as much as I can. Um, here you got the uh, Three Sisters Ford CCT. I've got my Emerson Horseman Titanium Liner. 
Emerson Super Crambit, again titanium liner. My HD12, or not HD12, CQC12 with the custom uh, front scale by Yester 5. Here is my Martin Small Tejas, full titanium frame lock. Kirby Lambert, this is the Orion MGT, titanium bolsters, titanium liners. Um, the titanium in here is almost as, uh, almost as thick as um, some titanium frame locks, so definitely worth mentioning. Full titanium James Kugler, a longbow. This isn't going to all fit for sure. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put some of these back already. Freed Mare, S90V, full titanium slabs, just a monster knife, 4.6 inches. Just got this into my collection. Uh, haven't or I already reviewed it. Haven't posted it yet. This is my Lion Steel uh, with Chad Nichols Damascus iguana pattern uh, SR1. So full titanium integral frame lock. You know, mill dot one one solid piece of titanium. So that's always impressive. Um, those integral frame locks are definitely becoming much more popular um, these days. Got a. Spyderco titanium ATR, so the full titanium frame, uh, not the stainless steel S30V. This is just the awesome blade. So integral uh, titanium compression lock, which is pretty cool. <coughs> All right, just going through the collection now for the most part. Zero Tolerance 551 LMAX steel. Zero Tolerance 560 with a silver twill carbon fiber. I just realized you can't see this on the screen here. <laughs> CQC8 titanium liner. Combat Karambit titanium liner. CQC-13, titanium liner. Strider s &G. Strider SMFCC. Ray Laconico. I think this is the worker or workman titanium frame lock. Hinder XM24 XHP. Titanium non flipper XHP as well. This is the XM18 3.5. Titanium uh, front side hinder with the crine regrind. This one's got the 20 CV steel. Uh, Chris Reeve, large Sebenza micarta, titanium. Small Sebenza micarta. Reserve Unum's on. Benchmade 51. Butterfly titanium liners, anodized and jeweled. Uh, blue titanium pocket clip. This is a pretty cool knife um, if I could learn how to flip a little bit better. <laughs> 
This is just Beast Titanium. Um, this is the J. Kobach A A10. So 0.2 uh, slabs of inch slabs of titanium, titanium backspacer. Um, this thing is just beast of, of titanium. So awesome, awesome knife. The next beast is the Grayman Satu. This thing is just gigantic. Just brought this camping and worked great. This is my Lucas Burnley Quaken with titanium liners and titanium orange peel pocket clip, titanium backspacer. Just an awesome, one of my favorite knives of all time. This is the Microtech Select Fire. The liner, nested liner, is titanium. Three Sisters Forge Beast, full titanium as well. Um, pocket clip of stainless steel. Uh, this is a great, great knife. Got my VCP, Les George, um, one of the one of the greatest production knives, mid tech knives out there. If you ever get a chance to get your hands on this knife, um, just a phenomenal knife. All right, almost done. Got the DPX Hest 2.0. Also brought this on the camping trip. Did great. Still has that up and down blade play, um, but I've learned to deal with it. Here's the Benchmade Lum Tonto. Love this knife. Um, still love the look of this knife. It's a great, great piece. Um, still don't like to sit down pocket carry. Titanium Spider Echo Military with the black blade, black clip. Um, just a great version of the military. Alright, and the last thing that I got is this um, Benchmade 940 with the titanium pocket clip that I added on, as well as the purple anodized titanium backspacer. Alright, so I'm going to zoom out here and hopefully you can see everything at once maybe all right so that's all my titanium plus my titanium ring <laughs> so gotta love titanium as a knife material it's one of the best that's out there so all right guys thanks for watching and uh, Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.